working from home has changed their perspective for some. They're like, wow, this, is, this opens up a whole other world that I can work in. This past year, many companies shifted to allowing employees to work remotely. But as some of those same employees get the call to return, there is pushback. Spectrum News 13's Julie Gorgata is joining us live in downtown Orlando. Julie, I know new studies like one just out of Harvard Business School show the majority of those who've been working from home really want flexibility moving forward. Yeah, Tammy, they miss their colleagues, but 81% say they either don't want to go back to the office or they want a hybrid schedule moving forward. Some work from home, some office. Just as we're getting used to these routines, things are changing again. Cameron. Eve, life is a series of adjustments. Ma, 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 ma. This past year has Super tested sunny. the limits for many, Ross Lent included. Just seeing him grow every day. Adjusting to life with a new baby. If I had to, you know, step aside for two minutes to go change a diaper, I was able to do it. And working from his Ocoee home. Come on, pups. I get my cup of coffee here, say hi to the dogs, and get back to work. They don't usually say anything back, though. But just as the payroll specialist was getting used to his routine, he got the call to return. They're going to increase our days in the office one day at a time. Once I got vaccinated, I began going into the office. Engineer Kyle yeah. Udine just got a similar call and headed back to his office. I am enjoying my time uh, interacting with my colleagues. And while many employees say they miss that, the vested group's Joel Patterson says the pandemic made us realize we can make working remotely work. I think we've, we've flipped the script on that and we're now going to be a hybrid work environment for the long haul. Maybe some people realize they don't like coming back into the office. Is that going to lead to an uptick in resignations? It's already happening. With a new baby mid-pandemic. Uh, I tell her she is the shiniest silver lining that there could have been. Eudine's return was bittersweet. It's the same feeling Lent is expecting when he goes back next month and makes another adjustment. We're going to be looking back at this 20 years from now and have vivid memories of everything we had to do to get by. Yeah, that business management consultant told me what surprised him the most is the fact that, you know, I think people would just stick to their jobs, right? Not want to change it. During the shakeups in various industries, people have actually changed jobs and companies have gotten created and offering up incentives like more work from home days. Reporting live in downtown Orlando, Julie Gargata, Spectrum News 13. Thank you, Julie. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce is asking states to use new government funding to help working parents pay for child care costs. States will receive $350 billion from the American Rescue Plan. That money can be used to cover revenue shortfalls and increased expenses that were caused by the pandemic. It can also be used to help pay for child care. Businesses are facing a huge worker shortage with a record 8.1 million job openings.